Hey guys, so today I wanted to give y'all a close-up of the Ayayama Tokyo Squishies. They are really awesome squishies, and I've seen a lot of people show them on YouTube, but usually they won't take them out the bags. But I will, so I wanted to show you what they look like, and what they're like, and why they're kind of like, um, really popular right now. Like, every store that has been selling them, they sell out almost immediately, like Tutu Kawaii sold out almost immediately, and she didn't get any more orders in. Decadent Accessories has gotten a couple orders in and that's where I've gotten mine from. And there's a few shops on Store Envy that have them but they're like really expensive. But I think, I don't know, they kind of are worth it. They're so, they're so amazing. I don't know why everyone doesn't make squishies like these because they're awesome. So I don't have many, I just have these four but that it's four of the five types that you can get. Or there's, so you can get the Jumbo Toast, the Jumbo Waffle, the Jumbo Melon Bun, and the Jumbo Cake Roll. And then they have all of these in miniature form as well. And they also have Jumbo Churros. Those are the ones I don't have. I don't really think they're that cute. And since they're so expensive, if I don't, you know, love them, I'm not going to get them. So that's why I didn't want to get the churros. My favorite option is the Melon Buns. They're amazing. So I'm just going to go through each one. I'll show you the packaging and I'll show you what they're like. So, um, I'll start with the first one is this toast. This is the coffee toast. Um, I was kind of disappointed in the smell because mine does not smell like coffee. It just smells like plastic. Um, I do love it though. It, I love toasts and this one is, it is amazingly soft. I don't know what they use, but it is so soft and it's soft this way too, like squishy wise. It's not super squishy, but it is, it's pretty nice. And it, it's just, I can't believe how soft it is. I don't know how they do it. It's amazing. And it's very, very big, as you can tell. It's, like, as big as my hand. So that's the coffee one. And I think they have, I really wanted the pink one, but I can't, that one's really rare. I can't find that one for a decent price anywhere. So I got the coffee one. Again, I wish that it smelled like coffee. I know it might just be mine that doesn't smell, because I know some people said theirs smells like coffee, but mine sadly does not. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't get any more of the toasts probably because they're not that pretty or that squishy and this one doesn't smell, but I still, I still like it. I'm not like disappointed in it or anything. So that's the toast and that comes in this packaging. So it's got like the coffee right there and yeah, each one has a different color writing. And this is the back and those are a couple of the other ones you can get. I do kind of like the green one. If I had the chance to get the pink one, I would, because I love the pink one, because it's pink. But I wouldn't probably get the brown one or whatever. But that's the back. And this one, yeah, I did have to cut open because it's totally sealed. But that's the package for that one. And then next, we'll look at the waffle, and I love this waffle. First of all, it's pink, so you know I love it. But it's, again, super soft. The material they use for these is amazing. It's so soft. This is kind of just a plain pink. And then there's powdered sugar on this side. I really love this. It's so soft and so squishy. It's so much different than any other waffle you would get. Because most of the other waffles, you know, like the poorly made ones are really hard. I don't have, you know, like the Hello Kitty waffles or anything. So I'm not sure how squishy those are. But... I know, like, the cheap waffles are nowhere near this soft and squishy. Sadly, mine has a little rip in it somewhere. I don't even remember where it is, but I was so upset when it got a rip. But it's it's okay. It's so amazing and soft, guys. I, like, I can't get over it. I love these squishies so much, and I would definitely get more of the waffles if I could. Oh, there's my, there's my rip. It's right there. And this one smells pretty good, too. So love the waffle. Um, then we've got the cake roll. And this one's the strawberry one. And this is like a totally different material than the rest of the squishies. It's It looks like a sponge, as you can tell. And it definitely feels kind of like a spongy texture. And the in-between layers like this are really soft. But then this layer right here, the darker color, is like is hard. And that's the same material that the outside's made of. It's, um, it's very different. It's rough. And then there's the powdered sugar on top. 
Um, I don't think I would get more of the cake rolls. They're, I mean, they're super squishy, but I don't really like the way they feel. So I'm happy with just this one. And um, they none of them have like a tag. It's just like a hole in the squishy with a ball chain. Um, but yeah, and this one has like a light scent to it. But I mean, it's so squishy. I don't know how they do it. Oh, I forgot to show you the package for the other one. Um, this is the waffle package. I really like the waffle package because it is easily opened. You can open it and then reseal it right back up. So that's really nice. So that's the packaging. It says sweet and lightness. And it's got Tokyo Ayama right there. And that's the back. And they're made in China, but they're freaking amazing. And yeah, that's why I love the waffle one. Because the back is reclosable, and I love that. Um, and this is the one for the cake roll. It's kind of weird. I don't know what this means. It says, White Dar Gar Factory. And then there's Ayama Tokyo right there. And here's the back. And yeah, I had to cut this package open, too. So there's that. And then my absolute favorite is this melon bun. This is the green one. It is so soft. It's so textured, as you can see. The top is green, and then the bottom is like a normal bun color. And it is, it's so soft. I just, I can't get over how soft it is. And it's very light, and I, I just love it. You can tell, like, when you pick it up that it's going to be amazing. And it's really squishy, and it's, it's unbelievably soft. And this one smells really good. I could just squish this one all day. I absolutely love it. Look how easy it is to squish. I definitely want to get more of these. They are my favorite. And I, oh my gosh. I'm on the lookout for more of these because they're amazing. I hope, I don't know if Decadent Accessories is going to restock at all. When I first got these, I was just like, oh, I just want one of each. I don't want to get everything because I don't know how they are. But now I'm like, I want all of these. They are amazing. So, and the package for that is here. It's the melon bread. It says Mont Bleu brand. And then, I don't know, it says 1912, original flavor. Mel melon bread. However, it is not actually eaten. <laughs> and then Ayama Tokyo there. Yeah, that's the back of that one. Yeah, so this is my favorite. So if you have the opportunity to get these awesome squishies, I would definitely go for it. They're so amazing. They're the best squishies that I have, honestly. Like, they're just amazing. They're the best quality squishies that I have. They're so soft. They're so squishy. I absolutely love these. So, yeah. That is my close-up video for you guys. I hope you like it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!